My name is Randy Bartles and I'm a professor at Colorado State University. My laboratory works on building new types of lasers and developing new optical instruments for a variety of applications. My background was in you know, building very big lasers and shooting them at atoms and molecules, ripping out electrons, controlling quantum wave packets and, and atoms and molecules and things of that sort. The support from the, the Beckman Foundation allowed us to, to move into a new area where, where we had no experience. I came up with some quirky ideas where I thought I could take some of the lessons I had learned from being able to manipulate atoms and molecules as I blew them apart and apply those lessons to developing new tools for for biology, in particular, some new tools for microscopy where we could look at very, very high speed images and very, very low concentrations of, of molecules and, and understand the intricate dances inside of biology. So what we've been able to do with, with support from the Beckman Foundation and take images in, in, in three dimensions and we can capture those images in a millisecond. So we're, we're now at a point where we can take 3D videos at a thousand times per second, and so we can see exceptionally fast dynamics, new dynamics of in, in the brain, and so we can start understanding how the brain works, how it's organized, how it processes information, and how these neurons are organized into neural circuitry, and look at how these neural circuits are functioning. Another application for this is we want to be able to look at embryonic heart development. So it turns out that the embryonic hearts be very, very fast and we want to be able to understand the, the structure of those in three dimensions and the dynamics of the heart beating and also understand how congenital defects play a role in, in that embryonic heart development. And our work confirmed that. This early support from the Beckman Foundation and the work we were able to do has fed into a, a new exciting grant from the Keck Foundation where we're continuing these ideas. We started under Beckman funding but now we've refined them to, to be able to do orders and orders of magnitude, higher sensitivity detection of, of molecules so that we can now start looking at how they talk to one another. We can sort of peek in on this hidden layer of communication between these cells and, and start being able to, to, to monitor and kind of eavesdrop on this communication between the cells by watching the exchange of these molecules and watching the response of these cells and that'll help allow us to, to start understanding what these cells are saying to one another and get a much better understanding of, of the, of the microenvironment in between cells and how they influence one another has potential to revolutionize our understanding of biology. It is the future. It is what is going to give us the ability to solve some of these problems that are otherwise philosophical as opposed to truly biological. Every method out there now has orders of magnitude less sensitivity than the method that Randy's come up with. So we have leapfrogged many fold into the future in terms of ability to do something that couldn't have been done before. These ideas were risky, I had no track record in this, and so it really takes a foundation like the Beckman Foundation, who's willing to invest in, in young people and take those risks, really causes them to have a tremendous impact on science as a whole. It is absolutely essential for support from the foundations like Beckman Foundation to support stuff that is really on the edge. Understanding the basic biology of a developing brain, understanding the biology of an organism, and understanding the biology of what interacts with that all around. That's almost limitless.